Um, Peter Hillier is a 64-year-old man um, who died on Sunday the 29th of May this year at Venus Bay on South Australia's west coast. Peter was a missing person and he'd been reported by his Victorian niece as a missing person in New South Wales. His last known address in New South Wales was at a place called Lake Haven and his movements since he left there are not clear to us. At 9.37 on the 27th of May this year, Peter made a phone call from the public payphone at Coulter in South Australia, which is uh, between uh, Port Lincoln and Streaky Bay. We know that Peter had been travelling with a 43-year-old man who coincidentally was also a missing person from New South Wales and had been missing since 2020. The last known location where that person lived again was in Lake Haven in New South Wales. We believe the pair of them left New South Wales about a month ago um, to travel um, around Australia, um, starting off in South Australia. We're not sure what sort of vehicle they had at that time and when that vehicle was disposed of, but we know that about a month ago that Peter bought a Mercedes motorhome, which I'll give you some more details about after. Yesterday morning at about 10.29am, ambulance service was contacted, received a call from Peter's acquaintance, who advised them that in the early hours of that morning, Peter had fallen from a vehicle in an intoxicated state whilst travelling on the Flinders Highway. Once they'd returned home, um, he'd gone to sleep on the lounge and his friend had awoken the next day to find him um, requiring urgent medical assistance. Sadly, when uh, SAS arrived, they found that Peter was already deceased and local police were contacted. Police from surrounding police stations and detectives from Sojourner and Port Lincoln attended and as a result of their preliminary investigation and conclusions they contacted major crime, major crash, forensic response and a pathologist who all travelled to the area last night and conducted a preliminary examination of the scene. The acquaintance told police that he had been travelling with Peter um, in the van, they had gone fishing uh, on the Sunday at Streaky Bay and Port Lincoln and in the early hours of Monday morning um, after um, both were probably heavily intoxicated they were driving along the Flinders Highway and Peter fell from the vehicle. That he helped him back into the vehicle and they returned home. As a result of the investigation um, we have drawn the conclusion um, that that is not true and in fact the acquaintance has been arrested for Peter's murder and charged at Port Lincoln late last night. The motive for the murder is not clear at this stage or the location of the death. Um, obviously we recovered Peter's uh, body at Venus Bay but it's unknown where he died. We we're trying to um, identify any sightings of Peter or the motorhome, specifically since 7am on Sunday, uh, so that we can map out their movements, where they were and what they were doing. And more generally, we want to build a picture of Peter's movements since he left New South Wales. So anybody who's had contact with Peter in the last month um, to contact Crime Stoppers and more specifically, anybody that's seen Peter or his motorhome since early Sunday morning. I'm happy to take the question. Can you go into any details about the kind of injuries Peter has sustained? Um, it's, it's difficult to provide you much information about that because he has been arrested and a lot of that will form evidence, but I can say that his injuries um, are significant um, and he suffered significant injuries to his body and that we don't believe it's consistent with falling from a vehicle. 
Do you have any idea how long he'd been dead for by the time crews arrived? Uh, no, um, except that um, he had been dead for a period of time. He hadn't just died. Do you know how the men knew each other back in Lake Haven? No, because uh, normally when you have this type of case, you've normally got witnesses, people who find you've got a crime scene and you can build a picture quite quickly of what's happened. Um, this time we can't rely on hardly anything we've been told yesterday. So I guess our picture of what's happened and how it's happened is pretty incomplete at this stage, except to say that um, we're happy that we can clearly establish that Peter was the victim of a murder as opposed to some accidental death. Do you not believe or are you suspicious about the whole story, about the whole fishing and driving along the highway and all of that, or just the, the falling from the vehicle? We won't know until we actually complete the investigation and hopefully sightings from members of the public um, where people have seen them, when they've seen them, where they've conducted transactions. All those things will be critical in building a picture of what exactly happened. Has anyone come forward already? Uh, the police over there yesterday had spoken to people um, and um, obviously started with neighbours and local businesses and, and they'll be putting a big effort into that today and um, into the coming weeks. And do you know how long they've been in Venus Bay? It's not clear, but we do know they've stayed in several holiday homes. Um, so it's probably going to be around the month period. Sorry to cover this. Is the home where police went to yesterday, where uh, Peter's body was found, is that a holiday home? It's a holiday home and since they've arrived they've stayed in several holiday homes Thank in you. Venus Bay. And you're looking for the motorhome? Um, well, no, we have the motorhome. I'll show you some pictures of that shortly. But it's very, very distinctive. And I'm sure that everybody will have, will have seen that motorhome um, on the west coast and probably the two men interacting. You've got one who's a 64-year-old male and clearly a lot older than the other person um, in that motorhome. Um, people probably have seen them fishing at different times. People probably have seen them attending licensed premises, going to shops, filling up with fuel. Um, even people in Venus Bay will have seen that holiday home, perhaps at other holiday rentals. Well, do you know what he did for work? And, um... No, we've got a really incomplete picture in terms of the antecedents of both the victim and the offender at this stage. Don't know if he's a father? Uh, I haven't got all of those details. Um, on, when you say 9.37 on the 27th of May, he made a phone call at Coulter on a phone box. Is that 9.37am? Yes, am. Am. Okay. Um, police searching for a weapon. Uh, we're not sure what's caused the injuries at this stage, but we'll do a comprehensive search, obviously, um, of the house where he was found and obviously the motor home, and hopefully um, we'll get some sightings and be able to identify movements and that might lead us to other areas to search. Just from the family, obviously they've asked for this particular photo to be used. How have they been when the news has been broken? Obviously they've been looking for him and now this. Uh, I haven't spoken to them, um, but obviously the people that have, um, they're missing, they were probably pinning their hopes on they'd return home and be okay. Um, so I would expect that they would be devastated by it. One, that he's, he's died, and secondly, that he's been murdered.